Hello there and welcome to my review of one of my new favorite games, Mountain Goat Mountain. This is a fun little game where you get to play as a mountain goat and the task is to get to the top of the mountain as quick as you can while collecting coins and avoiding pitfalls and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I have my Spartan Goat here and while you're climbing the mountain you need energy so you have to grab as much grass as you can. There's these little platforms that you can jump on to get higher up. All the while you're looking for coins so that you can buy more mountain goats and explore more mountain tops. So far it looks like it's being pretty easy on me today. Then you've also got these little pitfalls that fall from underneath you. I'm gonna avoid that little guy right there. Ah! And I'm dead. They do a cute little little rest in peace thing when you die. It gives it a little bit of humor to it. You tap on the little goat and you can see all the other goats I've gotten. This one is my favorite. It's a Lego goat. So I'm going to give her a shot now. The other goats are for purchase or if you get enough coins you can buy them and it's a hundred coins per goat and you get free coins every I think it's 24 hours and they give you around between 50 and 75 coins. So let's see how far I can get up this one with getting my coins. This has replaced Angry Birds as my favorite game. You don't have to wait. You can, if you die three times, you can, there's no limit on how many lives that you have in a certain period of time, which is nice hate the games that, like Candy Crush, you can only play for so many, you can only die so many times in, in a period of time before it makes you take a break. I know it's probably better for you to take the break, but I don't want to. So, it'd be nice if I could find a, some protection here. There is a, a magic little thing that if you find and you catch it, then it takes care of, it protects you. Kind of like the um, the star in Mario. So I've got 11 more coins to go before I can get another free goat. I also have, you get the standard goat when you, when you get the game. Then here's some other ones that you can grab. Some of them are kind of cool. That one, obviously a more Christmas one. Each one has their own different mountain. I'll show you the infrared goat. He's a little bit crazy on this one. So as you start playing, everything turns to infrared and I'd say he is one of the more difficult ones. Just because of the way his layout is. But as you can see, if I don't get that grass down there, then I die. And you get your little tombstone. He seems to want to die quicker than the others. Ooh, coins. Let's see if I can get enough coins. And there I go. So you can also watch me. I'll do this just so I can get through to show you buying a goat. This is usually the time when I just put my phone down and walk away and give my eyes a break for 30 seconds. I have yet to see one of these advertisements show a game that I would want to download. Be a nice change. So. Click the X at the top. You get your coins in there. I now have enough to unlock a goat. So let's see which one I'm gonna get. The minor goat, yes. Now if you buy goats, sometimes when you get your free coins and you do, and you buy another crate, sometimes you will get stuck with a goat that you had and it's kind of a waste of money. So you just gotta, it's one of the reasons I don't like to buy the goats because I don't wanna be get all my coins and then not be able to, and there I go. Alright, well, that is my new favorite game, Mountain Goat. 
Hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough. And I'll see you on the mountain. Later.